is up Dong Army, it's your boy Royce. Today is a gorgeous day in Philadelphia and uh, I'm gonna be showing off a day in the life. This is my second semester of my PhD in bioengineering. Technically it's the third year of my MD PhD, but you know, who's counting? As you can see, I have my backpack on, so it looks like I'm a student, although the backpack is empty. I also have my uh, single, you know, Bluetooth in-ear dad look because uh, I'm a married man now. I'm Gen Z and uh, it's an AirPod Pro instead of one of those old looking Bluetooth uh, headsets. I have a pretty jam-packed day. We're getting a talk from Flip Sabies, who is a co-founder of Neuralink, uh, which is an Elon Musk company. So I'm really excited to hear all about his technologies, how that collaboration worked out. Um, and yeah, should be a great day. So I just got to campus and uh, every Wednesday morning we have lab meeting, which for me, you know, it's significant because I get free breakfast. So I get my usual order of an everything bagel with uh, salmon cream cheese and uh, fruits and stuff like that. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. And it turns out that Flip is giving two talks today, you know, campus wide event that is later today. But in addition, he's gonna, you know, meet with our lab because he's friends with both of my research mentors. So it'll be nice to be able to, you know, introduce myself and to uh, admire his intellect up close. And I think afterward, there's gonna be some PhD interviewees, you know, for the uh, Penn Bioengineering program. So of course, that's gonna be exciting. It's always exciting to meet new people. How does sensory information get transformed uh, to garden work? What does closed loop and vertical code look like? And I was particularly interested in the problem of sensory integration um, and how the brain- It was really cool to talk with, um, you know, some of the interviewees who are interviewing with my uh, PIs. But uh, now, yeah, I am volunteering some of my time to um, escort interviewees to their next interview locations. You know, I just came from the engineering school and I'm taking the like two minute walk to the medical school. Actually, I'll show you. The medical school campus is just across here. That's where all the hospitals and stuff are. I just finished uh, escorting my first PhD interviewee. Uh, man, I gotta say, seeing her in a suit really made me nostalgic for um, my interviews back in 2019. Right before COVID hit, uh, I had in-person interviews, believe it or not, for MD, PhD. I just kind of missed like, you know, experiencing a new uh, city, experiencing a new campus. I mean, look at this like medical school. You know, as a humble Midwesterner like myself, it was a very, you know, exciting experience for me. And you know, I look back to it uh, very fondly, even though of course it was like extremely stressful. But yeah, it was nice to see how she was, you know, very positive. Uh, very happy, <laughs> unlike what I am now. Now I'm gonna go back to lab. One minute, 37 seconds late. So I just stopped by lab for a little bit. I tried to, you know, poke my head into the lab, make sure my research advisors uh, see me in the lab physically there. Uh, so even if I'm not, you know, doing research, they can at least, you know, think in their mind, oh yeah, Rose is there today. But no, actually it was nice to, you know, talk with my lab mates. And of course it was really nice to talk with the prospective PhD students. It's just refreshing to see so many, you know, uh, spry individuals with so much, you know, vitality interested in uh, science. I am aging and, uh, you know, my joints were not as good as they used to be. That is especially apparent when I go play basketball. It's hilarious that I'm talking to them as if they're, they're like 10 years younger than I am. It's also nice to see, you know, people who just first of all know about neuroengineering and uh, second of all are interested in doing their entire, you know, PhD degrees in this field, neuroelectrodes, brain computer interfaces. Again, it is really nice to be involved with um, these in-person interviews. You know, they have been uh, virtual for a few years now because of COVID. This, I think, might be the first year that it's back in person. Now it's funny to be on the other side of it, to be the, you know, current students that they look up to. So now we're gonna go to a lunch that's gonna be for uh, current students to meet the prospective PhD students. Um, it's gonna be really fire food uh, in a super nice building on campus. After that, we're gonna go listen to Dr. Flip Sapi's talk. He again is the uh, Neuralink co-founder. He developed the uh, sewing machine, uh, which implants the uh, neural electrodes that Neuralink uses. Um, he's gonna talk about developing that device and also, um, of course, working with Elon Musk. got back from two 
very interesting talks on campus. The first one was, um, of course, by Dr. Flip Sabies. Yeah, so it was great to hear about, you know, his experience essentially commercializing an extremely successful uh, technology that is aided by um, having an angel investor in Elon Musk, who is, you know, willing to just throw money um, at this technology to push it forward. It was just a really cool talk about not just his science, but also just, you know, neuromodulation, brain computer interfaces, more broadly is, is very inspiring. The second talk was actually um, just one I, I got an email for impromptu. This was for one of my co-med students, Jasmine Brown, and she just wrote a book. It's about, you know, black uh, female physicians, just a history of that in uh, the United States. It was just super cool to see her talk as like this, you know, professional author when like, you know, I, I know her as a classmate, she's like a super nice person, but just just funny to see her in this different light. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing to see your success. So I have to say that today has been actually really jam-packed and this afternoon looks really jam-packed as well. I have two classes that I'm taking this semester. One is Brain Computer Interfaces. It's taught by my PI. It's a really cool class and I'll probably do some coding homework for it later, just about, you know, decoding neural signals, things like that um, in Python. The other class is also very relevant to my research, Materials for Bioelectronics. The name of the game for my research is developing bioelectronics, flexible, biocompatible electronics that interface with the central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, wearables, things like that. I'll do some homework for that, which looks more like chemistry engineering type uh, homework problem sets, which, you know, is hilarious because I did a lot of that as an undergrad, of course. And I haven't really done, you know, much, I guess, you know, thinking in medical school to this extent, like mathematics, like, you know, when was the last time I did an integral? You know what I mean? They just stimulate my brain. They tickle my brain in ways that I usually don't get in medical school. Next thing I have is lectures for my two classes. Both are extremely relevant to my research, unfortunately. So I have to attend these lectures. At least they're never a waste of time. Screen, but they're just using the touch screen to indicate where they saw a flash of light after we stimulated their visual cortex. And depending on where we stimulated the visual cortex. Them and uh, few. Okay, so we have this alloy, and then you dip it into nitric acid. Hey guys, it's me again. Um, wow, I am really tired. Today's just been a whole lot of listening and learning. You know, it's just one of those days where, unfortunately, you can't make time for research. You know, my last uh, PhD bioengineering day in the life, I showed you guys, uh, you know, what my research looks like. That is, you know, gowning up and going to the clean room to do some microfabrication research. Sometimes as an academic, you just have to uh, make those sacrifices to instead go learn and meet new people. But you know, on the bright side, I get a whole bunch of free food, which I'm not gonna complain about. Tonight, we actually have more free food events. One will be a happy hour on campus. Usually there's really good food there. And uh, right after will be full on dinner. Um, both of these will be, you know, events to um, lure in <laughs> bioengineering PhD students. Hey, it worked on me when I interviewed. I'm not complaining to be a part of the process right now. Before that, I'm just gonna relax, go work out with a friend and uh, not let the protein go to waste. My friend's gonna help me film for a video. This is just gonna be about, you know, how to start working out as a beginner. And I, you know, I've always wanted to make a video like this.